It is the 26th of July 2021 and the embargo on our first drive impressions of the Skoda Koshak has finally been lifted and I can tell you more about this car that's going to go up against the Hyundai Creta and the Kia Seltos and based on the Volkswagen Group's MQB A0 platform is going to underpin the strategy for the group in India going forward. It will also compete with its sibling from Volkswagen, the Volkswagen Tycoon, which is going to be launched in just a few weeks' time. I should make it very clear at the outset that the variant of the car I drove was equipped with a 1.5 TSI engine and was in the stop end style variant. Skoda has launched with three variants. There's going to be the Active, the Ambition and the Style, the Style Top End variant coming with all the toys ranging from a sunroof to wireless charging, wireless Apple CarPlay, very very fancy alloys and whatnot. You have all the toys in this variant. However, the 1.5 TSI will not be available at launch. It will only come around the same time as the Volkswagen Tiguan is launched. The 1 litre 115 PS engine will be made available to us automotive reviewers very soon. But the 1.5 TSI Skoda Kushak was an amazing car to drive. I had a really good time driving it from Navi Mumbai down the North Konkan coast towards Kashit and Murud Janjira. Keep on watching for more details. It's been a very pleasant car to drive. Um, it's uh... Uh, been a very pleasant car to drive on very very nice parts of India. I am driving down the North Konkan Road beyond Alibag. I, I want to go to Ravdanda Fort but I guess because of the pandemic and the monsoons it is shut. Tried to go to Zanjira Fort but got an alert that Zanjira Fort is shut as well. This is a really really pretty part of India. I mean just off the carts greenery all around me, it's the monsoons, it's the height of the monsoons, it's really nice. I know lots of people go to Alibag, but you know, beyond Alibag as well, yeah, the roads are a bit narrow, but what a really lovely part of India. It's a lovely place to bring this new car from Skoda. Um, you know, Christie Roads, actually, it's a very nice handling car and uh, much better handling than the competition for sure. It's very sharp, very agile, no hint of body roll. And I mean, I've been driving uh, fairly aggressively on some roads, not here, there's too, too many population centers to drive aggressively. And there are some pretty, pretty damning um, uh, speed breakers, even on the highways over here. So yeah, you've got to be very careful, lots of people around. I must admit, I'm very impressed with mass compliance in this part of India. Uh, I mean, rural India definitely, uh, on the whole, most people are wearing masks. I don't know if you can see much outside the car, but many, many people are wearing masks out here. Most, I mean, seriously. Yeah, two-wheeler riders may not be wearing their helmets, but they definitely are wearing their masks. So, um, what I do like about this car, one, it's a really nice car to drive. I mean, this... Um, two-spoke steering design is very nice it's, it's unique I mean you really don't notice it that much but it's got a lot of power the turbocharger kicks in very well um, nice big display screen over here the interior fit in the cabin feels very nice no fabric plastics all around dual tone uh, I like these shades of grey and uh, they've provided ventilated seats I'll just put the EC a bit lower so it doesn't uh, cut out my volume and uh, I like some of the controls out here wireless connectivity to Apple CarPlay the wireless charger is a bit off I mean I have to charge through um, my wire they've given four USB-C chargers two in front two at the back and one USB-A charger as well um, pretty decent um, all around but what I really like about this car is the way it handles I mean it goes into corners very nicely uh, really really nice car to drive I mean uh, it's definitely got uh, a Skoda feel to it if you've driven you know cars like the Octavia or even the Rapid you know how nicely uh, Skodas and Volkswagens handle and this car definitely kicks the Check, kicks the boxes on that regard. I mean, um, 
if you enjoy driving this is definitely a very very nice car uh, but definitely they managed to compete well with the Hyundai Creta and Kia Seltos when it comes to kit and equipment they have you know loading the car with gadgetry and apps and all of that Skoda and Volkswagen have a lot of work to do with their sales and marketing organization I think that's going to be the really difficult part for them um, you know Hyundai dealers have a very very good reputation and for good reason um, Skoda has really been working hard to repair their reputation when it comes to sales and marketing over the last few years um, if they get that right this car should be able to sell but honestly speaking um, a weak sales organization is what really affects this car the most beyond uh, uh, not so much the product itself it's a good product it's a solid product solid nice to drive and I really enjoyed today's drive in a really nice part of the country and as I said these are nice twisty roads um, but I've got a bit few places to really take it on aggressively I don't like the speed bumps and they're not marked anyway enough of my whining I like the design of this car as well um, they've really done a good job of course you've been seeing the design from the time they introduced the vision in at the auto expo early last year on in terms of the displays out here not bad relatively simple i wish they could have switched over the indicator and the wiper stock to the other side this is still european in that regard and um, the start button is where the key fob would be now i do have an issue here i mean i wish car makers would standardize one place to put the start button it's really irritating that you know every time you get a different car you gotta find out where the hell to put the you know where the hell the start button is it's, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain so i've done this before all over the western carts uh, we actually on the road back from alibag towards panvel um in the skoda kushak which is a brilliant car on these twisty twisty roads i mean it doesn't handle or feel like an suv at all it feels very much like the way you expect a good german sedan to feel and really nice car to drive and you can really push it go you know go fast be aggressive on mountains and really nice car to drive really really nice car to drive uh, it's given me a true feel for this car these these hard roads and just look at the car it's nice and green and lush while there's no doubt that this is an excellent car to drive and if i had to buy an suv in this class i'd possibly buy this car if it was driving enjoyment alone there is one flaw that the Pushak has and that is because of the mqb a0 platform it is based on uh, that platform is inherently smaller than the new platform that Hyundai Motor Group is using for the Greta and the Kia Seltos, which is slightly larger. And if space is what you need, maybe the Kushak is not the car for you. However, just on sheer driving pleasure with the 1.5 engine, this car is the car I would possibly buy. I can't wait to drive a 1 litre engine, which I hopefully will be doing next week, as well as the 7 speed DSG that the 1.5 TSI will also be available with. Uh, this was just a first drive impression. I have spent a long time with the car, I drove a significant amount, but it's not the same as spending a week or two with the car, or even living it for, with it for that matter. Thanks for watching this video. Do like this and subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out with more content. And please do keep on watching, coming back here for more such great automotive content, aviation content, and history content. Thanks again.